Elsewhere tonight, CBS2 has learned there may be a secret plan to evacuate Chicago in case of big trouble at the NATO summit next month. The Red Cross in Milwaukee is apparently reaching out to volunteers to help prepare shelters for any Chicagoans who are suddenly relocated. CBS 2's Mike Parker uncovered the story. CBS 2 News has obtained a copy of Milwaukee area Red Cross emails sent out to volunteers. The message suggests a possible plan to evacuate residents of the city of Chicago during the NATO summit. The conference, the email says, may create unrest or another national security incident. The American Red Cross in southeastern Wisconsin has been asked to place a number of shelters on standby in the event of evacuation from Chicago. That surprise disclosure has some folks who live downtown on edge. A little unnerving? Oh, very unnerving. I feel a little bit unsafe, just a little, maybe a little bit more than a little bit. Um, doesn't make me feel like I want to be in the city during the NATO conference. I'm lost for words because I absolutely have no idea what that entails. According to a Wisconsin Red Cross spokesperson, the evacuation plan is not theirs alone. She told us, our direction has come from the city of Chicago and the Secret Service. However, officials at the Office of Emergency Management and Communication told us tonight the directive did not come from them. The Secret Service did not return our phone calls. The Chicago Red Cross office said only, we are supporting the city in their NATO planning. A union executive who's been training his members in preparation for the summit believes such a plan might be over the top. This could be a lot like Y2K, you know, a lot of hype and a lot of buildup. People will say that was it, you know, not a big deal. The idea of having to evacuate Chicago residents is, number one, a scary prospect, which could account for the reluctance to talk about it. Secondly, it's probably also highly unlikely. This seems to be a case of officials wanting every possible contingency plan on the table, just in case, Robin Case. Still has to make people a little uneasy, nevertheless, though, Mike. You don't want to hear about possible evacuations, but they're planning ahead. They don't want to be surprised. Fair enough.